Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video all about the company Brandless. And I have been seeing their commercials on TV all the time recently and I was so intrigued. I had no idea what they were or what like their company was all about. So I went on their website and if you don't know what Brandless is, um, it's a website where you can order things that um, you can get at the grocery store, but it's all stuff that's made with better ingredients. Like the food that they sell on there is all things that you can keep in the pantry. Um, so like pastas, cereals, pasta sauce, um, like honey, chips, like just tons of like pantry foods. Um, but they make them with better ingredients. They're all like organic, non-GMO, things like that. Um, they also happen to have a whole um, line of skincare and personal care. And then they also have um, a section of like cleaning supplies. And so everything on their website is made with better ingredients and like non-toxic um, ingredients, like all their cleaning stuff is like the EPA Saver certified thing. Um, so I really wanted to try it out. And so that intrigued me just because everything was made like with better ingredients. Um, but the other thing that really pulled me in is everything is $3. So everything on their website is $3 no matter what you get. Um, so you have to be careful because sometimes, um, even at the dollar store, you'll think it's a good deal just because it's a dollar, but actually it's more expensive. Um, like for example, if you go to Walmart, you can buy, um, little like tins, um, like reusable tins, uh, for baking. And those are like 88 cents. But if you went to the dollar store, they'd be a dollar. Um, so just be careful when you're on their website. Don't just think because something's $3, it's cheaper. It might not necessarily be cheaper, but... Anyways, I was really excited and I decided that I wanted to try their, I pretty much, I ordered their entire skincare line. And then I also ordered a couple items from the, like the personal care item or personal care line. Um, so basically I didn't really know how they were um, making these products with better ingredients, but they were cheaper. But they sent me like this little like card that says welcome to Brandless. And it says basically they do this by eliminating brand tax, which is like a hidden cost that you pay for a national brand. So since they don't have brand tax, that's why they're called Brandless. But I mean, technically Brandless is the brand, but I don't know, I guess they just don't have like a national brand, so they don't have a brand tax. But anyways, uh, that's supposedly why everything is cheaper. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get started and tell you guys what I got. Also, everything was $3, so I got their entire skincare line and then a couple personal items, and it was only $27, so. It was a steal. So the first thing I tried was the facial lotion. Um, and by the way, I've, I've been trying these for like a little over a week or so, maybe two weeks, um, cause I wanted to test them out to talk to them about, or to talk about them to you guys. Um, but this is the facial lotion. So it says it's moisturizing aloe, no parabens, no phylates, no animal testing, and it's fragrance free. So, I don't love this. I think it's okay, um, but I kind of don't like the fragrance free because it kind of smells like plastic to me because it doesn't have a fragrance. Um, it just kind of smells, I don't know, like chemically. It's weird. Um, but yeah, I, I do like it. I think it's, you get um, four ounces for $3. So it's definitely not bad. And um, a little bit goes a long way with this. At, when I first started trying this, I was putting like a quarter size amount in my hand and I was just having like lotion all over my face. So definitely a little bit goes a long way with this product, um, but it's not my favorite out of all the stuff that I've tried. So I think it's good for $3, but it's not great. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got is the facial toner. Um, so it has a witch hazel, it has no sulfates, no phylates, no animal testing. Um, it's dye free, gluten free. It has antioxidant uh, apple extract and yeah, the flavor is green apple. So it does smell really good, which I like. Um, and I've been using this uh, at least every night, sometimes in the morning as well, but I really like this. This is one of my uh, favorite products from the, the brand that I've tried. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the smell um, and just, I don't know, 
makes your face feel really good. So I really personally like this one. This is one of my favorites. Um, and I also got these organic um, cotton rounds to try as well. So you get a hundred of them. And like I said, they're organic in cotton. Um, they're also hypoallergenic. Um, but yeah, I think these are just kind of like your basic cotton rounds. Like I don't think there's anything special about them, but um, yeah, they're only $3 for 100 and um, they're organic. So I just thought it would just be easy to buy them together so that I could use it with the toner. So yeah, they, they feel really soft on your face when you use them. Um, but I just, I don't think they're like amazing. They're just cotton rounds. So kind of basic, but um, okay. So the next thing I bought in the skincare line is the facial cleanser. Um, so this has antioxidizing, fruit extract, sulfate free, no phthalates, no animal testing, um, and then it's gluten free and it's the flavor grapefruit. Um, this is something that I don't really like. I mean, it, I just feel like it's okay. I don't really feel like it clean, cleans my skin like that well. I personally like cream cleansers a little bit better because I have dry skin. So I just feel like a cream cleanser makes my skin feel really soft and clean at the same time. So I just kind of felt like this felt like regular soap, like almost like a body wash or something. I just didn't really like it as a facial cleanser. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this in the brand. I think they have other things that are better for the price. So this was kind of a fail for me. Next up in the skincare line is I tried the facial scrub. I love facial scrubs. I, like I've said, I'm in all my videos, I have really dry skin. So I use a facial scrub all the time. I sometimes I'll buy daily ones where I use it every single day when I shower. Um, but this one is more of a, um, it's a really extreme exfoliant. I don't want to say extreme, but it's just like a harsh exfoliant. Um, so you only use it like one to two times a week. Uh, so I like it. Um, it's also grapefruit um, and it says it has no sulfates, no phylates, no animal testing, um, and it's dye free and gluten free. Um, but yeah, I, I like this one, but I did feel like it was a little difficult to take off. Um, like to get all the little beads and stuff off my face. The first time I used it, um, I didn't use it in the shower. I just like used it in my bathroom, like standing at my sink. And I felt like it was really hard to get the little scrubbies off. Like 10 minutes after I had already rinsed it, I could feel them like still in my hairline. And like, I just felt like it was a little difficult to get it off. Um, but it was a lot easier once I used it in the shower. And that's typically where I like to keep my facial scrubs. I just keep them in the shower and then I do it once or twice a week. Um, but I like this. This is one of my favorite products from the brand. Um, it's really, it's a really good exfoliant. It makes my skin feel really soft and clean. And I really like the grapefruit scent. So yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. It's really grainy, um, but yeah, it's, it's really good. A really nice exfoliant. Last up in the skincare brand is the night cream. And this is actually my favorite item from the, um, from the brand. Uh, it says it has moisturizing shea butter, no parabens, no phylates, no animal testing. Um, and that's it about this one. The only thing I don't like about this product is how small the little tube is. It's only 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's really small. I was surprised, especially because the other facial lotion, like the daily facial lotion is four ounces. So I really would have thought that they would kind of give you it in the same package but they didn't, so you got way less with the night cream, which sucks because it's my favorite, but um, I really like it. It's a really thick night cream. Again, a little bit goes a long way with this product, so I only use like a little pea-sized amount and then it, it like, you know, it moisturizes my entire face, so I really like it though. Um, I, you know, what I mentioned with the other facial lotion is the smell. Um, this one doesn't have that smell. It smells more like shea butter which this one doesn't say fragrance free. So there we go. This one smells so much better. It just smells a lot more um, like lotion and just like calming. And it just smells a lot better than the daily moisturizer. So I, I hate that about moisturizers. If I put them on my face and it smells bad, I just feel like, I don't know, it just really bothers me. So that's another reason why I really like this one. But I think this is totally worth it for $3. Yeah, I really, really like this product. Okay, so moving on uh, to some of the other products that are not like facial skincare stuff. These are kind of random, but um, I picked up a, pa a little pair of the uh, lip balm. This is the acai berry flavor. Um, 
I just thought it would be nice to always have lip, we always need lip balm around here. We live in Colorado, it's really dry, it's starting to be winter, our lips are always chapped, so we always like to have chapstick, you know, in like every purse that I have by our bed, in the living room, like we have chapstick everywhere. So um, I just thought I'd pick up a couple of these and my boyfriend hates it. <laughs> He's convinced that he hates it because the first time he put it on, he got some in his mouth and it was a little gross. And so now he won't use it. Um, but I have to agree, it's not like the best chapstick I've ever used. I feel like it's just kind of basic. Um, the smell kind of smells like bubble gum or something. I don't know, but it definitely does get in your mouth if you are not careful. So just if you put it on, it might get in your mouth and it's gonna taste a little weird, like fake bubble gum. Um, but I would kind of leave, I wouldn't buy these again. I'd probably just buy chapstick from the drugstore um, just cause I didn't think these were that great. But I think they're fine just if you're in a pinch and you need some lip balm, so. Okay, then last up, I wanted to try out the moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. I have to say, I'm really bummed. I don't like these products. Um, so it says it's made with aloe leaf juice, sulfate-free, phylate-free, no animal testing. Um, it's vegan, gluten-free, and silicon-free. Um, and it says like this fragrance is green tea and aloe. The fragrance is nice. Um, it's not overwhelming at all. I just don't like the way it makes my hair feel. I, I, I feel like my hair has been really tangled a lot more than usual lately. When I get out of the shower, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't get a brush through my hair at all. So I just think it has to be these because this is like the only thing I've changed in my like hair care routine. And so it's just been causing my hair to be really tangly. Um, and I also don't feel like it cleans my hair that well. Like I just feel like, oh gosh, it's all wet. Um, I just feel like once I put the shampoo on my hair and like, you know, lather it up, I just feel like it doesn't feel clean. It still kind of feels dirty. Like it didn't really do anything. So I was really bummed because I thought this would be um, a really good deal for $3 for eight ounces of shampoo and conditioner. Um, I was really hoping I was gonna like these. I'll probably keep them around and maybe use them as a backup like when I run out of other shampoos and stuff, but I just, I don't really like these. So that is everything that I ordered from Brandless. I'm not sure if I will or place another order. Um, I might, I might try out some of their pantry stuff. I don't know, it came pretty quickly. And um, also, if you are interested in, let me find this. If you're interested in placing an order, you can, um, you'll get $5 off your first order with the code GIVE5. So I'll put that in the uh, description box below if you guys wanna try it out. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see some other videos. I post videos at least once a week, so go check them out. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.